Welcome back to the 2010 Oklahoma State Cowboys football preview. New Oklahoma State offensive coordinator Dana Holgerson has the Cowboys talking in Stillwater. He's just so laid back, you know, it's just he'll joke around, joke around, but he's just so laid back. He's laid back, he's cool, Cash, he's real cool, down to earth, I mean, just uh, good guy to be around. Cool, laid back, looks like he should be at a Jimmy Buffett concert. If you listen close, he even sounds a little bit like his mentor, former Texas Tech coach Mike Leach. We're just beginning to get things in place, and it's a bit of a process. You know, things don't happen right away, so uh, it's going to be more just like keep plugging along, keep plugging along, and try to get ourselves in a position where we can take a snap in the first game. Holgerson's relationship with Leach began in the early 90s when he played receiver at Iowa Wesleyan. He then coached with Leach at Valdosta State and Texas Tech before heading to Houston to serve as the Cougars' offensive coordinator the last two seasons. My philosophy is, is through him and, and uh, Hal Mummy when Hal was down at Valdosta State and Iowa Wesleyan before, before the Texas Tech days. Uh, and then, of course, I was with Mike for eight years at, at Texas Tech. And, and the, main, the main reason I left Tech to go to Houston was, was to uh, just have complete control over it. I think it's pretty common knowledge that, that uh, Coach Leach was, had his hands in it pretty deep, you know, and, and, uh, and, and wasn't going to give that up. So I, I felt like it was the best thing for me in my career to go do it on my own. And, and, and the natural thing to do is, is, that, is to uh, put your own spin on it and change a few things that you think might, uh, might help it make it a little bit better. While at Houston, Holgerson's offense was tops in the nation, averaging more than 500 yards and 42 whopping points a game. They understand that the system is a good one, and, it's, and they've had they've had good offensive football here for the last five years with Coach Gundy. So uh, they're they're used to doing well, you know. And uh, the receivers are excited because they want the ball in their hands a little bit more, you know. I was excited. I was really excited. You know, it's uh, it fits it fits my my game a little bit better than our old offense. You know, I'm not blazing fast like Zach can can run the option and stuff like that. You know, my my skill sets are. Or to sit back and, and you know throw the ball downfield and you know hit hot routes and stuff like that. And so it's uh, I was excited when I heard the news. I've enjoyed that style of offense. Um, very aggressive, up tempo. Um, they uh, they they run the ball 37 percent of the time. Uh, you know there's made it, there's a lot of comparisons made to the Mike Leach style of offense because Dana spent a long time with him. Uh, you know they they were running the ball 17 18 percent of the time. Uh, and I say that because we've had a lot of success here running the ball and we want to continue to run the ball, uh, which we will. Holgerson will call the offensive plays this season. That's something Gundy has done the last few years. There is some pressure that's, uh, that's not there now. Uh, you know, you get prepared each week to call plays and third and short, fourth and short, goal line, crucial situations that uh, you have to be prepared for. And you, you know, the last couple years uh, when I was calling plays, I, I wanted to make sure that I gave our team the best chance to win, and in doing that, uh, when you're in a play calling mode, you have to study tape. I mean, you're six, eight hours a day studying, preparing the game plan, making sure you have the right calls in the right situation. So it took a lot of time. Um, and so from a time standpoint, there's not as much pressure there. In the past, the Cowboys have been able to balance the run and the pass. That will not change in their new spread offense. One of the main concerns coming in uh, was how much Kendall Hunter is going to touch the ball. And, and the first conversation I had with anybody around here is with Kendall Hunter. So, because uh, he can get a lot of yards in one every time we hand it to him or throw it to him. When I first heard it was coming here, but people were like that y'all going to be passing the ball more. But it's, it's pretty, to me, it feel like it's pretty even out. Hunter and the rest of the offense spent a lot of time during spring ball learning the new plays, terminology, and line splits. Well, last year, you know, we were tight, you know, 18 inches, but now we're up to two to three feet. So, I mean, it kind of puts you on an island a little bit when you're in there pass blocking, but it, it's nice to open up for the run and stuff. While the O-line was learning their assignments, the receivers were finding out you better be in shape if you want to play in this offense. So we throw about 300 passes a day, so we run a lot of routes in practice, and that's we're not used to that around here. If there's one player who may benefit most from the spread offense, it's Anderson. Last season, he caught one pass. 
his stats should go way up since he's now playing inside receiver. He's been doing pretty good. You know, this offense kind of fits in with him. I mean, small, quick receiver, and uh, I'm sure with this offense, he'll catch a lot, lot more than that one. And I'm loving it every day. Like, I look forward to going to practice, learning new plays, just trying to find ways to put the ball in everybody's hands and let them make plays. They're talented, they got good ball skills. Uh, you know, we're, we're, gonna, we're just gonna try to get the right guys in the right situation and develop some backups to where we can, uh, you know, to where we can roll those guys in and out and not, not skip a beat. Welcome back to the 2010 Oklahoma State Cowboys football preview. Johnny Deaton, the freshman, getting the shotgun snap, swings it out in the right flat, and it's caught and drilled for a two-yard loss. Markel Martin, the safety, who's had a terrific spring, drilled Travis Miller for negative five yards on the play. And Whedon hands it off to Hunter, reverses his field, running on the left side into the defensive territory to the 40-35, and tackled near the out-of-bounds marker at the 31-yard line. That's a big gain on the play. Dan Bailey trying a 41-yard field goal. Snap back, ball down, the kick is on the way, and it's good. It's a wide receiver screen to Justin Blackman coming across the field to the 40, 30. He may go all the way, 20, 10, touchdown, Justin Blackman. That's the tunnel screen that worked magnificently. With a back split, Whedon gets a shotgun snap, and he's back to pass. He swings it out in the right flat, caught by David Paulson. Up the right sideline, goes the full back to the 40, and out to about the 44, one yard short of the first down. And Whedon gets a shotgun snap. Back to pass, throws it deep down the right side. The pass is caught for a touchdown by Tracy Moore. He beat Malcolm Murray the corner on the play, and the first team offense reaches the end zone for a second consecutive time. The offense has the 23-12 advantage over the defense. Three down linemen for the defense now. This is the second team D, and they show the blitz, and here it comes. Five-man rush, handoff on a draw play. The ball fumbled. It's scooped up by the quarterback shelf, and then he loses it again and has to fall down on it back at the 34-yard line. That's a loss of seven. That's a tackle for loss, and so two points for the defense. And it's a screen pass to Hunter on the right. Cuts back to the center of the field to the 40, 45, and tackled four yards short of the first down at the 46. Second team offense against the first team D now. And Clint Shelf at quarterback. Three receivers right, one left. Hand off to Smith. Trying to turn a corner to the right. Being chased. Hit once, hit twice, and tackled for a three-yard loss back at the 33. And Whedon back to pass, throws it deep down the near side, and the pass is juggled and caught for a touchdown by Colton Shelf. On first down at 13, a handoff to Kendall Hunter. Turns a corner on the left side and pounds his way through a tackler beyond the 25, down to the 20, and tackled at the 19. Three receivers left, one right. Whedon in the shotgun gets the snap. He's back to pass. He looks. Touchdown. Josh Cooper makes the grab and the offense scores again. I believe that's three touchdowns now for the first team offense. Whedon gets the shotgun snap. He's back to pass. He has all day. Now he's flushed out of the pocket. Now he scoots back to his left, floats it over the middle. It's caught by Josh Cooper. And he's tackled at the 41 yard line. Six yards on the play. It'll be third down and four. Three receivers right, one to the left. First and goal from the five. Stringer takes a snap. Floats it toward the near corner of the end zone, and a leaping catch is made by Adrian Richards for a touchdown. Second team offense out there, and Shelf gets a snap, throws over the middle. It's caught by his brother. That's Colton Shelf up the far sideline to the 50, into the defense territory, and punched out of bounds at the 46. And that'll be it, folks. Final spring scrimmage complete for 2010.